What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We have a lot to talk about today. Not Scary Farm just announced all their shows for the 2022 haunt season. So let's dive in. Let's check out that trailer and then let's talk about it. shouldn't touch anything. <gasps> um, I don't think that's normal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so Not Scary Farm announced all their live entertainment that's going to be at the park for the 2022 haunt season. A lot of great ones returning, and it's going to be a great time. Starting off with Carnival de Grotesque. This was a lot of fun last year. I remember they did like a, like a kind of like a freak show in a way, which was really cool, that uh, showcased a lot of talents from people um, that were hired on to to get this show perfect to give it that whole like old school carnival feeling and i really enjoyed seeing that i would i would walk by to go to carnival or goring 20s and would see that on the uh the calico stage right there um so that was a lot of fun to to see that last year and then in between those sets they had an actual live band playing as well so it was a lot of fun um i'm, I'm really stoked to see what this is going to bring this year what new things that are going to amaze us at this show this year and to see what clowns go dancing around while they're doing the show or entertaining people in between the show it's gonna be a lot of fun that should be that should be cool to check out it's always a good little area to kind of just relax for a little bit and just just watch something so that's really cool conjurers dark magic will be returning at uh in ghost town again um uh, and i that show is hilarious it, it's it's a magic show with uh some comedy in it so it, it's a lot of fun I'm really looking forward to seeing that again, um, and, and I can't wait. It's always a fun time to go, like I said, go relax and stuff, but to see this show with the, the mix of comedy that they, that they involve in it is a lot of fun, um, and, and I cannot wait to see what they have in store for us uh, for the 2022 season. The one that all of us here at the Knights of Horror are very excited about is Puppet Up Uncensored is returning at the Charles M. Schultz Theater right in the Goring 20s area, and I am super stoked for that. Puppet Up, if you guys don't know what it is, is a live improv show with puppets so they uh they do improv games and and they take suggestions from the audience and um they bring it to life with puppets on top of that it's uncensored so they cuss and everything but puppet up is a lot of fun uh very good time very a lot of comedy and and it's just overall fun especially sammy and i um having the theater background and kind of both participating in an improv show at our, in our high school theater department. We love Puppet Up, so this is something that kind of relates to our background a lot, and I'm super stoked to uh, to see what this this year has to bring, if there's going to be any new people coming aboard, um, and what games they're going to be playing, what skits they're going to be doing. Should be a lot of fun. Very much looking forward to Puppet Up returning for the third year in a row. It's going to be a lot of fun. And the last thing that is returning that is an essential must at Not Scary Farm because it displays all the fans, incredible artwork, all the incredible merchandise based around uh, mazes, anniversaries, whatnot, is Into the Fog, a Scary Farm tribute art show. Uh, this is always a great time to go th go in. This is right at the uh, at one of the corner shops in the Goring 20s, um, and they always have uh, terrific art pieces out for display and for sale. Um, as well as prints of those art pieces and some amazing merch that is dedicated to the event, the history of the event. The uh, ones I look forward to are actually the pins, which I do have one. I have all of them so far. So these are called, of course, the Scary Farm Legends pins. I have actually the entire collection hanging on my wall right here, and this is the Paranormal Ink one. Um, 
well, you can't really see it. It's a little blurry, but this is the Paranormal Ink one. They come in these like cool little uh, gravestone um, packagings, um, and I just leave it on the gravestone um, because they look so cool. Um, so I've been collecting these ever since they started doing them, uh, I believe back in 2019, and I have all the, the ones they have released so far. So that is going to be something I'm definitely going to be jumping on board to getting. Uh, I love those Legends pins, and to kind of honor past mazes is a lot of fun. Um, so that's going to be cool. I can't wait to see what artwork we see this year as far as uh, tributes to years prior, uh, scare zones, mazes, um, a, certain characters. So it's going to be a lot of fun to see those artworks um, and just overall seeing the vibe of that. It's a lot of fun to go through and kind of a good little cool off area um, and just kind of browse around to see what they have. Um, this is where we actually got last year at Not Scary Farm. They had uh, hats themed to each scare zone. I bought the Carnival one and the Ghost Town one while Sammy bought the Hollow one um, as well as they have, of course, your simple uh, Not Scary Farm you know, uh, snapbacks as well. And I do own one of those. So if they continue to add more, uh, scare zones, I think I'm going to get the rest of what, what I don't already have, which would be the hollow Goring twenties and the forsaken Lake. Um, so that'd be a lot of fun and I can't wait to see what into the fog has to offer this year, but another great announcement from not scary farm. So we'll, it seems like we've been having a Wednesday pattern thus far. So we'll tune in next week to see what happens, what they announce. Um, I know there's two mazes under construction that weren't in that maze video. So I'm super excited to see if, if we get announcements for those pretty soon, as well as leading up to the big uh, ticket uh, going on, tickets going on sale August 15th. So I'm super stoked for that. But yeah, guys, entertainment looks amazing this season. I'm super stoked. Cannot wait. But let me know what you guys think about the entertainment. Do you guys have some favorite shows you guys like watching at Not Scary Farm? Leave them down in the comments below. We'd love to interact with you guys and, and, and read your comments and whatnot. But until then, my name is Anthony from the Knights of Horror, and we'll see you in the fog.